So, this is another proof of concept on the uh, tricopter or drone or whatever plane that I'm going to end up making, but before I had it all hooked up to an RC car, which is down there, but now I've got hooked up to a uh, ESC, so you can see the circuit, so the battery goes here and the power goes to the ESC, so this is the, um, here, this is the positive, which is hooked up to here, which is to, hooked up to a switch, which is activated, and this is the negative which is um or no this this is the negative which is hooked up to the negative on the speed controller there and then this this control horn is this is hooked up to the or not control horn this the just the control signal wire so this is hooked up to the negative on this board which doesn't make sense that should be over here <laughs> So that's connected to the negative over here, and the positive signal is connected to this green LED, which is controlled by this LED. So you can see. It. So I can't really get it all in one shot, but the green LED here controls the speed of, or the this potentiometer controls this LED, which is hooked up to there, and it's just a PWM signal. So you can see that that has no problem spinning. So yeah, it's just a proof of concept that since it controls, turn that off. Since it controls the MOSFETs with a um, PW, PWM signal, that's easily trans, like translatable to a, uh, an electronic speed controller, which is what we have there. So um, the reason it's going really, really slow is because the signal has to go through a bunch of this old crappy wire. Because I had it all set up before for um, bench testing. But now that I've kind of moved away from that, it's all it's still configured like that. That's why it's all crappy with this cardboard over here. But, um, yeah, that was a while ago. That was back in the uh, older videos. So I'll link those in the description. So, yeah, um, pretty cool stuff. Thanks for watching.